Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Commander of the Heavenly Intelligences, February 11. All things were made through Him, and without Him, nothing was made that was made. John 1.3 if Christ made all things, he existed before all things. The words spoken in regard to this are so decisive that no one need to be left in doubt. Christ was God essentially and in the highest sense. He was with God from all eternity, God over all, blessed forevermore. The Lord Jesus Christ, the divine Son of God, existed from eternity, a distinct person yet one with the Father. He was the surpassing glory of heaven. He was the commander of the heavenly intelligences. And the adorning homage of the angels was received by him as his right. This was no robbery of God. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, he declares. Before his works of old, I was set up from the everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding in the water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there, when he set a compass upon the face of the depth. Proverbs eight twenty two to 27 there are light and glory in the truth that Christ was one with the Father before the foundation of the world was laid. This is the light shining in a dark place, making it resplendent with divine original glory. This truth, infidelity mysterious in itself, explains other mysteries and otherwise unexplainable truths while it is enshrined in light, unapproachable and incomprehensible. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever, thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Psalms 90, 2 The people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Matthew four sixteen. Here, the pre-existence of Christ and the purpose of his manifestation to our world are presented as living beams of bright light from the eternal throne. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Micah 5, 1, 2 Further Reflection how can I enjoy the truths of God which are shrouded in mystery?